Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create the sticker text effect using GIMP 2.8, but before I start with the tutorial, this video is sponsored by Videoblocks.com. Videoblocks.com is the first subscription-based resource for downloading stock footage, looping motion backgrounds, After Effects templates, and more at a very affordable price. Everything is nicely divided into categories. It's very easy to find and download what you're looking for. For example, if you're looking for a slow motion footage, it's just a few clicks away. Once you subscribe, you will have unlimited access to all of the content. The cool thing about it is that it's a subscription based service. So once subscribed, there is no limit on downloads. You can download all you want. You can use it royalty free for personal or commercial projects. Check it out, link is in the description of the video, sign up now and get 7 days free trial. Know that the free trial has a cap of 20 downloads per day which is a total of 140 downloads for the whole period of 7 days. If you continue with your subscription, the limit is gone, you can download all you want. You can cancel the subscription anytime, just know that there is a lot of new content added every day so you may want to stick around. Go ahead, give it a try now for free. Link is in the description of the video. Now let's get started with the tutorial. First let's create a background for our text. I'll go to the file menu, choose new and here for the width I'm going to enter 1440 pixels and for the height 900 pixels. Click OK. Then I'm going to click here to change the foreground color to a purple color. If you want to use the same color, the code is AD8BD8. Next I'm going to click OK, then go to the edit menu and choose fill with foreground color. Next I'm going to select the text tool, click over here and write sticker. Then I'm going to double click here to select the text and I'm going to change the size of the text to 300 pixels. I'm going to leave the font to sans and I'm going to click over here to change the color of the text to this green color. Click OK. Then I'm going to grab the move tool and position the text. Next I'll click on this option to create a new layer. I'm going to use the defaults, just click OK. Then click on this option to position this layer below the layer with the text. Right click on the text layer and choose the option alpha to selection, then click to make this layer active. Go to the select menu and choose the grow option. And over here I'm going to type 40 pixels, then click OK. Next I want to remove these gaps over here, so I'll grab the free select tool and choose this mode, add to selection, then I'm going to add these to the selection. Next I'll go to the select menu again and choose the feather option. Here I'm going to feather with just two pixels. Click OK. Now I want to fill this selection with white color and I can do that by going to the edit menu and choose fill with the background color. To deselect I'll go to the select menu and choose none. Next I'm going to make the text layer active by clicking on it and again choose the option to create a new layer. Just click OK with the defaults, then right click on the text layer, alpha to selection, move back to this layer, choose the rectangle select tool and click on this option to subtract from the current selection. Then I'm going to click and drag like this click in the middle of the selection to apply it, then I'm going to click and drag on this letter as well, click over here to apply, then I'll do the same with this letter and also with the last two letters. Now I'm left with this selection and I want to fill it with a darker green color, so I'll go over here and click and change the foreground color to this green color. Click OK. 
then go to the edit menu, fill with the foreground color, then go to the select and choose none. So far we have only flat colors, so let's mix it up a little, starting with adding a shadow. I'm going to click here to select this layer with the white piece of the graphic, go to the filters, choose lights and shadow, drop shadow, and I'm going to use the defaults, just click OK. Again on the same layer I'm going to right click and choose alpha to selection. Feather the selection with two pixels by going to the select menu, choose feather and we already have two pixels entered so just click OK. Then I'm going to grab the brush tool. I'm going to click over here to reset the foreground and background colors. Change the opacity of the brush to 5 and the size to 400 pixels. So now I'm going to be painting with black color with a very low opacity. The point is to make this white piece of the graphic, the bottom part, a little bit darker. So I'm just going to click around here and drag like this one time. Then to deselect, go to the select menu, choose none. Then I'm going to click on the background layer with the purple color to make it active. And I'm going to change the size of the brush to, let's say, 600 pixels. And I'm going to click over here to swap the foreground and background colors. This way, now I'm going to be painting with white color, again with very low opacity. Actually, let's change the opacity to 10 instead of 5. And now I'm going to click here, hold down the left mouse button and drag like this. And the point of this is to make the center of the background a lighter purple color. And I think we are pretty much ready with this text effect. There is a lot that you can experiment with here. You don't have to do it exactly like I did it. You can experiment with fonts. You can choose another colors for the text. You can also choose to put an image inside of the text. I have demonstrated this in one of my previous tutorials. So I hope that this was useful. If it was, like the video, leave me a comment. If you're new to my tutorials, visit my channel for more and subscribe. That's it for this one. Bye.